שהיו מועדים. זמנים, חגים וזמנים לששון ולשמחה. So, the, the controversies and heresies will always be there, the divisions will always be there, because Yahweh wants you and I to walk the labyrinth, listen, and to walk through the right angles, and through the left angles, and through the 180 degree turn sometime in the believing life that we have to take until we come to the finish line, because Yahweh, Rav Shaul said, that henceforth is laid up a crown of righteousness for me. I have run the race. Huh. I have kept the faith. Huh. And henceforth is laid up a crown of righteousness for me. And not only for me, but also to all those who love his appearing. Amen. Amen. We run the race. Run the race. We fight the fight. fight, the fight. We keep the faith. Keep. So we can get those victor's crown Amen. at the finish line. Amen. I mean, stars on it too. So that's why divisions come. Chris, divisions come mm -hmm. that are really no divisions. They're a test from Yahweh to see will you line up with the word or will you line up with what people are saying that don't line up with the word. Can I hear a good amen? There has to be division. There has to be division. And the place division usually starts is in your own home. If everybody in your home, if you've got seven children and three wives, and everybody thinks that you're a wonderful priest and you're leading the family in the right direction, you're doing something wrong. Because you, even Yeshua's brothers did not believe in him. Yeshua's brothers did not believe in him. What are Yeshua's brothers' opinion about the Son of Yahweh? What were his physical brothers, uh, stepbrothers' opinions about the Son of Yahweh? He's a Meshugana. He's beside himself. Don't listen to him. He's a nut. He's a demon. He's a nut job. He's a head case. So somebody said, somebody in Dade County said something about your rabbi? Oh, you know, they're saying about rabbi. You know what I'm going to say about that, right? Am I greater than the son of Yahweh? No. If they call the master of the house Beelzebub, what will they call those who live in his house? Wow. They called Yeshua Beelzebub, the Lord of nothing. The Lord of the Flies, Satan. So they call me a false teacher. What they do? I'm a false teacher. No problem. They call the Master Beelzebub, and a servant is not greater than his master. Never. If they didn't dishonor you with those titles, you wouldn't be his. Just make sure that you're being persecuted for righteousness and not for your own ideas, because persecution will come there. The question is, you need to ask yourself, am I being persecuted for Leviticus and Deuteronomy that people don't want to hear? Or am I being persecuted for my own ways? If you're being persecuted because of Yahweh's tzedakah, blessed are you. Blessed are you when men shall revile you and separate you from their company for my name's sake. So great is, the, is your reward in heaven. Amen. For in like manner they persecuted the Nevi'im and the Shlichim who went before you. Was it Yeshua who said, Woe to you when all men speak well of you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Look at verse 20. So Rav says, Look, when you come together, therefore, into one place as Israel, it is not to eat the, the Lord's Supper at the table of God. Look. Where is it? I'm putting it into the scripture. Watch this. Okay. When you come together into one place as Israel, do not eat and drink inappropriately on the day of the Shabbat, the day of our Master. Now, I want someone to read verse 19 from any translation other than the Restoration Scriptures. Yvonne, you have it there? Yes. I want you to read... 1 Corinthians 11.19 11, and you, I'm sorry, 11.20 and you watch the way it reads. Go ahead. Someone read that for me. I got it. 11.20. Mm. 11, Here's why you need many copies uh -huh. of the Restoration of Scripture. 11, 20. 20. Okay. 20. When ye come together. Stop. When you come together. Therefore. Therefore. Into one place. Into one place. This is not to eat the is, Lord's Supper. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For an eating... Stop. 
So in every translation in the world, other than the Restoration of Scriptures, true name edition, it appears that this Jewish rabbi is rebuking the Corinthians about eating and drinking inappropriately, in an inappropriate manner, the Lord's Supper. Read it again, uh, Ray. Read aloud in this place Which verse? so someone can hear it. Verse 20. Verse 20. When ye come together, when you come together, therefore, therefore, into one place, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. Yeah, for stop. So, first of all, even in the King James, Rapture was saying it's not to eat the Lord's Supper. You get this? Even in the King James. When you come together as Israel, it's not to eat the Lord's Supper. Why? Because you've got to forsake Yahweh's mountain to eat the Lord's Supper. Mm. Mm. That's a new twist going on. But even if that's not what it means, he is rebuking their practice of eating this supper. Now, in the Aramaic, now look how different this is. In the Aramaic, it says, it says the day of Mar, or our master, Mara. Listen carefully because you're going to miss this. In the original Aramaic, the re Renewed Covenant was written in what language? Aramaic. Aramaic. It says this. The day of our Mara, our Master, rather than the Lord's Supper. In other words, in the original Aramaic, the word Lord's Supper does not appear. Nice. And even if it did appear in the Greek, Rob was telling them, don't celebrate it. Or you're doing something wrong. You follow me, Brent? Mm -hmm. This is why you need many copies. You with me, Yvonne? Yeah? This is why you need many copies of the Restoration Scriptures. Not just one. Because the other translations are very wrong. Not somewhat wrong. Very wrong. In the original Aramaic, listen carefully, I'll say it again. The word Lord's Supper does not appear. It does not fit the context. Listen. Since gorging in food and drink is impossible with tiny sacraments used in the modern so-called religious Lord's Supper. Now read that again, right? Verse 20. When ye come together, therefore, into one place... I need to cut. We need, that needs to be shut off. Chris, tell him to shut it off, please. Go ahead. Okay. When we come together... When, when you come, when together, you come together, therefore, therefore into, one place, into one place, this is not it's, to eat. It's not to eat the Lord's Supper. It's not to eat and drink. Now, look. Today, the Lord's Supper in churches and, and religious institutions, they use a tiny what? A tiny wafer mm -hmm. and a tiny cup. Why would Rav Shaul rebuke eating and drinking? If they were partaking of the Lord's Supper. And remember, the Lord's Supper does not even appear in this verse in the original Aramaic. Let me ask you a question. If you only eat once a week, if you only eat once a week, Yvonne, can I say to you, you're a glutton? You're fat? You eat too much? No, you're only eating once a week. So why would Rav Shaul rebuke them for the way they were eating and drinking? The Lord's Supper, when the very modern Lord's Supper is nothing but a mini wafer, a cracker, and a little bottle of juice or wine. Can, can you gorge on that? Can you get fat on a cracker and a little bottle of grape juice? So this has nothing to do with the Lord's Supper. He wouldn't be rebuking them for overeating and over drinking when there was nothing to eat and drink except a few crumbs. Additionally, the Lord's Supper does not appear in the Aramaic, only in the second generation Greek. Not in the original Aramaic. Nice. So this has how much to do with the Lord's Supper? Zero. Zero. Nada de particular. Zero. Zero. Because the word Lord's Supper, in, in, again in the Aramaic, it says this. It says, when you come together, Israel, on the day of our Lord. Does that make a difference? You bet it does. Shabbat. Because when did Israel come together? Shabbat. On the day of our Lord. What is the day of our Lord? Shabbat. What day did Yahweh rest from his works which he had made? Shabbat. The seventh day Shabbat. People say, no, 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 no. no. It's just a Shabbat principle. As long as you honor one in every seven days, you are honoring the Shabbat principle. Really? Oh. Then why did Yahweh use a definite article language? There is day, the first day, second day, third day, no definite article. Fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. Shabbat. 
But then the Yom HaShabbat, hmm. the Sabbath.